Hello friends, today I'm going to show you the Canon Image Formula P215 uh, scanner. It's a really cool scanner, especially useful if you need an automatic feeder scanner at home that uh, for your multiple uses. If you need to scan pieces of paper or also it will scan cards and it will scan many kinds of things. Now, the difference between this scanner and the others is its size. It's a really small size, like I'm going to put here next to my hand here, next to the mouse. It's a very small, it's portable, and it can fit in any suitcase. Also, another advantage is that uh, its price. You know, I bought it for you know, about $200 in Amazon. It may be more expensive or cheaper, depending on when you watch this video, of course. But at this time and, and, and date, uh, the alternatives are mostly Epson scanners that go for about twice as much, for about 400 that you can find in any retail store like Office Max or Office Deep. This scanner again is, is, is economical compared to the others, it's portable compared to the others and it also has an additional advantage that it has software built in this, this scanner. So you don't need any software to operate this or to install anything. All you need is just to plug it in to your USB port and it will work. It comes with additional software you need, but really, you know, it's not necessary. Another thing that I just mentioned is that it doesn't require an AC adapter. All you do is get the USB um, cable, which by, by the way, it includes two. It includes a 2.0 uh, USB port and a 3.0 USB port. And you can connect one or, twa or two of them for and the advantage according to the manual is that it will give it uh, a better speed having both cables connected and that will power the device so the next step once you plug it in you know plug and play with a uh, trigger in the computer and install the drivers automatically uh, that will take a few seconds and after that all you do is open the scanner by just pressing here and it's kind of hard to do with one hand so bear with me and then pull this up you see a plug and play just detected the scanner the scanner turned on by itself and the drivers are installed and that's it the next thing you have to do is set up the scanner to receive paper so two things you need to do the first thing is you pull here in, th in this little level and you see that these plastic supporters come up like a transformer and um, the other thing is there's two different paper uh, tab stop stoppers if you call them and you pull one here and then another one here this look delicate so that will be the only down of this uh, scanner that you have to treat it uh, probably well and since these are plastic I can see that they could be easier to break if you are not careful but so far you know it may sound pretty sturdy so after that is done uh, you get the paper that you want to scan and I have three sheets of paper here it's important like in any scanner or printer that you air your paper first you know so they are not sticky the, the pages are not sticky then you put the scan you can adjust you know this uh, the distance between these stoppers to fit your needs you put your page correctly and uh, kind of hard to do with one hand let me tell you and uh, that's it once it's uh, you feel it's correctly put in the scanner you're ready to go now this scanner will take up to 20 pages at a time so that for me is pretty good uh, but if you need more uh, then you will have to do it in different batches or in different different times so once that is done uh, you go to your computer and you open a uh, Windows Explorer now the computer will treat the scanner as a USB uh, storing device so that's pretty cool and it's gonna be called on touch light so you just double click on that and click on the only file present which is called on touch and that will open the software from Canon that is built in the scanner, which is pretty cool. So once that is opened, you know, you have many options. You can just go ahead and start scanning. Uh, you can enable continue scanning, or you can also go turn off auto options here, and you will have many options when you click on scanner settings. Things that you can do is change the resolution, change the color mode, uh, also the the scanning side, if it's one side, two sides, and also change things like uh, automatically straining skewed images and a lot of things. So it's a lot of options for a software that is built in the scanner. 
If you want more options, then you can optionally install the software that comes with the scanner in this CD and check it out. But for the average user, this is more than enough. We're going to go back to it. So all you have to do to start the scanning job is print, is click here on the scanning button and the scanner will do its magic. So just check it out. Another additional thing before I start is that this scanner is extremely quiet. So while it scans three pages, I won't make any comments so you can hear it and uh, you will see that it's almost not uh, audible. So I'm starting the job. And that's it, the scanner has done a perfect job, no pages were distorted or skewed. And you can see that the preview of the files that you just scanned are shown. Also here are the 1, 2 and 3, so they are scanned as individual uh, files and you can change that if you want to. Uh, it's pretty amazing what it does, it's very good quality, as you could hear, it's almost cannot hear it. So it and it, this portability is just worth its price in gold in my opinion. It's a very good scanner, I highly recommend it, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video.